What's happening, people? It's the homie Smith, the 400, one half of straight off the Ave. Shout out to my co host, Mr. Dubbins, and this is Mr. Reacts. One time for the subscribers, and if you made it to this video, go ahead, give us a like and subscribe. New content every day. Yes, sir. Now, check this out, man. The homie Gene Deal is speaking on how Cuba tried to break Lil Rod, man. We all know um, it's in the documents. There's photos of them two in the studio. Those photos look like, you know, Cuba got that look in his face. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you've ever seen Cuba turned up, he got that turned up Cuba look in his face. You know what I'm saying? But um, without further ado, we finna get in the Gene deal. Shout out, or shout out Gene. Let's react to this, man. Let's see what he's talking about. Let's go. But looking at this lawsuit, right, you know, Little Rod, he alleges that, you know, Diddy, he'll put his hands on him. But, you know, when he'll put his hands on him, he'll disguise it as horseplay. But he felt like Diddy was trying to groom him, in a sense. Well, with the horseplay situation, I used to see him do that with certain women. Mm. You understand? Uh, when he was mad, upset, or, or he, he was too old for this, but he would do that play fighting shit. You understand? So I can imagine him play fighting with Lil Ra. Because, you know, a lot of people could say what they want to say about Diddy. You know, he got a knuckle game. He will fight you. You know what I'm saying? You his size? You understand something like that? Around your size? Something like that? He would fight you. He had a knuckle game. He, was, he wasn't that dude that, like, people try to say he was some old scared bitch-ass nigga. Nah, he would fight you. You understand? So I could see with a person like Lil Rod, he probably was roughing him up, grabbing him, groping him, you know what I'm saying? Acting like he playing with him, but he actually want him to do what he want him to do. In other words, man, he was totally emasculating Lil Rod. You know you had those people that like to try to push your buttons. Now imagine that on top of the fact that he wants your backside. Now that's a little disturbing. Allegedly, that's a little disturbing. But that seemed like the type of ish that he was on. Like he was trying to emasculate the boy. He was like, you feel me? That's wild. Let's keep going. So, like I said before, that she did in the past. So when I read it, from Lil Ra, I see he's doing the same shit he's doing in the future. So he was doing this with females too back there and when you was around. Right. That that's how that's how him and Kim got into the fight. And he, you know, play fight. He used to he used to play fight with the pillows, like the pillow fight, that dumb shit like that. You know, that's kids to me. But if that's the way they do, that's the way they do. You understand? He used to do it with Kim all the time. So the horse play was his way of grooming you in a sense. Well, I don't that grooming, that's some new shit. You know what I'm saying? We didn't call that <laughs> we didn't call it grooming back then. That his horse play was a way of letting you know I could really hurt you if I wanted to. You get it? I could really hurt you. And that's what that kid probably felt. Yo, why he doing me like that? Oh, he just playing with you. No, he's letting you know if I turn this up. I could really hurt you. And that was his way of trying to get you to be submissive to him. Right. He's letting you know. He's putting in your mind. Listen here, bro. He's trying to put in his mind. We're playing now. But if I really want to turn this shit up on you, it's on. You ain't got no wins. So that kid is feeling, yo, listen here. In his mind, if you read the documents. Hey, yo, Puff. Puff was treating him like <laughs> one of them characters you hear about up in a pen that be trying to, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Press up on who they trying to press up on. You feel me? Like, that's disturbing, bro. He's a real predator, allegedly. In his mind, he was so scared that when he went to other people in the camp, and say, why did he treat me? Why did he doing this and doing that? They say, oh, he just playing with you because he love you. He like you. He, he was no. He was trying to put that instill that fear in you that he had in you, mm. and he won. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, that does make sense, man. And me looking at this lawsuit, he's also, you know, a legend that he met Cuban Gooding Jr. through Diddy on Diddy Yacht. And it even got to a point where he started touching him on his, you know, upper inner thigh near his groin, according to him. Did you see the picture? No, nah, I didn't get to see it, but... Uh... Oh, my God. Coop, yo, listen to me, man. <laughs> I don't know if it was what they call it when you take two pictures and they put it together and stuff like that. They, they, what they, what they call it when the, they put the pictures together Stop. and it don't belong together, but they put it together. Whatever. Side by side. Yeah. Whatever they call it. Cuban, Cuban, uh, 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 Cuban Gooden Jr. was so close to that man. I would thought that was his lady. That's how close he was to him. And then his hands all on his leg and everything. It, it was, it, it was crazy, bro. Mm -hmm. I, I I don't even believe that. So when you see Cuban Gooden fighting a case here in New York, when he said the girl was saying that he was groping her and everything like that, I'm glad they didn't show that picture at his trial. Because <laughs> he would have been guilty. That's how close he was to that kid, man. So you seeing no pictures, do you believe his claims? Yeah, I believe his claims. If somebody put something in Cuban Gooding Jr. ear that this was fresh meat or see, can you break him or see, can you do something? Because don't know other man be that close to no another man, man, for the Word. for that reason. Come on, bro. That's crazy. Hey, do you know him? Have you ever met him before? No, I don't think I met him before. Cuba, I can't, I can't recall me, you know. Man, look. I agree, man. It seemed like he tried to break him because ain't no way, like, men out there, all my men out there, if Cuba or Diddy was to try to touch you in the ways that Lil Rod is describing, what would be your initial reaction? <laughs> I feel like I don't have to, you know what I'm saying? But what would, what would be your initial reaction if this is unwanted, you know what I'm saying? You flying straight, you doing your own thing. And they coming at you like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm wondering why he didn't do what I would think that most people would do. Like, why wouldn't you put hands on these people? You know what I'm saying? But then again, if he's displaying that he could hurt you when he play fighting, you feel me? And, you know, you can't overpower him. Then maybe he was indeed emasculated. I don't know, but it's a wild situation. And look, like I said, day by day, as this thing goes on, it's going to continue to unfold and continue to get more wild. You feel me? Sign off in the comments how y'all feel about the situation, man. Shout out to the subscribers. If you made it to this point in the video, go ahead and uh, give us a like and subscribe. You feel me? Um, Yeah, man, this is crazy. This is crazy. This has been the homie Smith the 400. Mr. Reacts signing off, man. Owie.